For today's tutorial, you're going to need some white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black pen, and your choice of coloring material. I've been using some watercolors with a paintbrush, but you can also use coloring pencils, oils, acrylics, or anything that you like. We'll just leave it black and white. Let's get started. We're going to start off our cat with an oval, which is slightly tilted. So a nice big oval shape like this. So I'm just doing it really lightly in pencil just here. Doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry. Nice big oval like that. Now I'm going to measure the height of the oval and I'm going to use that just here on the right hand side. I'm going to make a little dot there with one finger and a dot there with my thumb. That tells me where I'm going to put the bottom of the cat. So I'm just going to draw a very rough line like that. Now we're going to be drawing a shape. Just follow what I'm doing. A curved shape like that. And then another one just coming out from here. And it's just slightly rounded, just like that. May not look like much yet, but it'll start to take shape. So now a triangle shape for the ear. And then another triangle shape just here for the other ear. We're going to be adding in the nose, which is just another triangle shape, just like so. And then here we're going to be starting the paw. So coming up and round, just like that. Now for a little line going diagonally to the left hand side. Now the last of the preparatory shapes starting here in the middle, we're going to be drawing a tilted line going down towards the left hand side. Now I'm switching to pen but please carry on in pencil, this is just so that you can see it better on camera. I'm going to be drawing the little nose first, so just a little nose like this. button nose and then a line coming upwards which is going to be feed into the eye just here the cat's got its eyes shut and then the other eye just here a line like that another little line from the nose now the mouth Like that on one side, and then on the other side, I would draw the rest of the face coming upwards towards the head, going all the way up. Now for this ear, so an ear just like that, and then the other ear. Just like that. I'm going to be drawing some dots and some dots there. And then we'll add some whiskers in a little bit. Now for the back and the neck. So following the guidelines that we did before, coming round. And then we're going to be drawing the paw. So coming all the way around here. So according to BBC Science Focus on this website, it says that research shows that an adult domesticated cat can spend up to 8% of their waking hours grooming their body with their tongue. Isn't that incredible? So coming down, add where the little claws are. There we go. This, this arm is actually like folded or paw, I should really say. <laughs> now for the tongue, we're going to be drawing in the tongue really long, big tongue, much bigger than you expect. So just like that. And where we did this line before, we're gonna carry on the neck. We're now going to go down here and we're going to be doing the tail. So this comes out and round. We're just gonna draw some zigzags just to show that it's fluffy and furry. It goes down like so. Then we can follow this line that we did before comes out and then round. Underneath here, there's going to be another paw. So, there we go, just putting in the digits. There we go, and then the leg comes upwards and joins this line that we did before, all the way up. Going to be drawing another line on the other side. So 
that's the other side of the leg. Coming all the way up there. So now we're going to be doing the back paw. So coming up like this, just drawing in the paw. There we go. And then the leg coming round and then it goes upwards like so. And then we'll finish it off down here. I'm just adding some furry lines. Comes out a little bit here. And then one long swoop all the way up to the top again. Then last but not least, I'm just gonna add a little bit of fur there and a few whiskers. So if you haven't gone over it in pen yet, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil lines. So I've mixed up some yellow ochre and brown over here and just a very watery solution. I'm just going to paint in the head. So just make it super, super watery. So this cat's got some markings over the eyes. A little bit comes up here. And round. You can colour in this drawing in anything that you like. Watercolours, colouring pencils, oils, acrylics, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm just using watercolours because I quite like the speed. I like the way that they blend in with each other and it's just a really quick and easy way to get some colour into your drawing. Particularly if you don't have much time. So coming round doing a little bit more. I'm just going to add a bit of a darker brown now. Just down here. So when a mother cat licks its young deaf and blind kitten, it's to clean the cat but also to strengthen the social bonds. And because of this, adult cats will only lick other cats that they trust or that they're not in competition with. So that's why cats lick themselves and other cats and people sometimes. So just coming down, I'm going to make this a little bit darker, particularly when we get nearer to the tail. I'm just going to mix in a tiny bit of dark blue as well. There we go, particularly on the tail. But... It's got quite a stripy tail. more blue. Add that in. And then on this leg as well. It's got some markings here. These markings, a little bit on the ear. Tiny bit here as well. Make it a bit darker. And then a bit more brown just down here. Just going to use the white and create a bit of a grey. Just underneath here. Gonna make it a little bit more dilute. Just for the white bits that are in shadow. Now for the little pink tongue. Just 
Don't worry if it runs like this, you can always save it. And the little pink nose. And the ears. going to draw a little bit of, well paint a little bit of shadow underneath the cat. And now we have a very quick and simple cat drawing and painting. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then check out all these cat tutorials.